Ready and off and racing. A little bit slow to go in a space, just being scrubbed along briefly. Blue Missile, uh, the Royal Runner out the back, is in no hurry in the early part of this contest. The William Hill Height of Fashion Stakes listed contest over a mile and a quarter, and they climb the hill over on the far side with Serona taking them along and leading by about a length under Frankie de Tori. From the free running understated, just a bit keen in the green jacket. Between them, Heavenly Breath, the grey, is close up in third. Araminta's white face restrained. Sisyphus Strength is next to the rail and the nose band. One or two of them taking a bit of a hold. Tajamar is in the second wave as well. And she's followed then by Inner Space, white with the green hoop, Secret Solace, and then Veil of Shadows alongside Fast Tara. And it's Blue Missile that brings up the rear as they continue their climb towards the final three quarters of a mile of the contest and about eight lengths would cover the field as they continue to reach the top of the hill. Sirona the leader under Frankie being held together in front as well. Heavenly Breath the Grey and Holly Doyle within about half a length now. Followed by understated Ross Ryan on the rail as they begin the descent down towards the home straight. In fourth on the inside is Araminta of the white colours of Inner Space, who's just tracking Taj Amar, who's getting a little bit closer now to Jim Crowley in the Shadwell Royal Blue. Uh, still the field quite well strung out. At this stage, Vale of Shadows has got quite a task on at the back of the field, and William Buick is asking her to try and pick up on the outside. No response just yet, though. Down they come towards the final two and a half furlongs now. Serona still travelling sweetly at the head of affairs. Heavenly Breath under pressure, understated between horses. Then behind them comes Fast Tara on the outside. Outside Araminta now in the white face, the red and white colours. Secret Solace is even wider out and starts to produce a finishing spurt as well. A furlong left to go here. Araminta now has come storming through and has taken over. On the inside, understated, is trying to rally. But Araminta, who ran well here three weeks ago, is bounding clear to win the height of fashion in great style. Araminta for Trevor Wynn and Henry Candy. Understated, Secret Solace, second and third. And back in fourth place, staying on Sisyphus Strength. Araminta has won the height of fashion stakes here at Goodwood and has done so in the end in pretty decisive fashion. Henry Candy trains a different trip today, Henry, different ground, and it, it seemed to bring about what you wanted. Yeah, surprises, because normally when they go on that absolute bog, they don't go on top of the ground, but she seems to do both, which is fantastic. Pedigree is a tremendous mix. Um, make it what you like of Glen Eagles, but you've got plenty of Medicine on the downside, and yet the damn British champion sprinter in mids. So it's taken me a while to sort of work it out. We went for the easy option, seven furlongs first time, and then up a little bit, and <laughs> then we thought we'd give this a try. Um, what had been your instincts on what you'd, you'd seen at home? Uh, I haven't done very, very much with her. As you might have noticed, she's not the easiest person. Won't go into a saddling box, didn't want to go down, didn't want to go in the stalls, all that sort of thing. She's quite a lady, so I do as little as I possibly can with her. But early on, she was showing plenty of speed, so I'm agreeably surprised that she can stay as well. And Trevor did say that uh, that big boarded fence at the end was coming up pretty quick. He had a hell of a job to pull her up. So. It, she gets the triple right. I was going to say, you know, to what extent do the fact that she's got all those quirks, yet she races and hits the line generously, encourage you that you're only really just scratching the surface? There could be plenty more to come, I hope, because she's a lovely big filly, size and scope. So let's hope that there is more to come. The majority of these fillies were entered in the Ribblesdale. She's not. Is there an obvious stepping stone for her next? Uh, not that I can think of. I should go home and have a look. But I don't think she'll be running a mile and a half anytime soon. Might happen eventually, but I think we'll stick where we are for the moment. And she runs in the colours of breeders. Alex Frost is a, a noted breeder. St Albans bloodstock, Andrew Stone, likewise. Is that, you think, the, the long-term plan? Do they want this mare to, to breed from? Yes, I think they'll have to toss a coin or have a fight, but they, <laughs> one of them will have her, that's for sure. Well, you can certainly do it together. And, Henry, it seems that 2023 is being relatively kind to you compared to the, the, the last couple of years. The horses are in, in, good, in good health. Last year was a total disaster, could never get anything going. And this year, there are plenty of them who are in very, very good form, which is lovely. Excellent. Thanks, thanks very much, Henry. Thanks a million. Thanks. Well All right, Araminta wins the height of fashion here. Henry Candy was 
not quite sure where she was going to go next. She surprised him a little bit today. Might not have surprised two of the co-owners, Alex Acklock and, and Alex Frost. Uh, she's not in the Ribblesdale, gents. Any, any thoughts of putting a supplementary in? We've got a train of to persuade by looks of it, eh? But we, you, you wouldn't know what we do right now. I mean, I guess, I guess the question is to what extent all of you were a bit taken aback that she hit the line so hard over this trip today and, and how much further she might go. Yeah, I think, I mean, it was a very stiff mile with that ground as it was last time. So, yeah, I mean, definitely handling those extremes of ground bodes really well, doesn't it? I mean, very rarely do fillies go on both extremes. So, but for in terms of the distance, um, they did go very slow early on. I saw the fractions were very slow, so maybe she was just, you know, but she hit the line hard and she, they, Trevor said he couldn't pull her up, so that's definitely encouraging. Now, you two have been in a lot of horses together, haven't you? Can you remember how many, Alex? A few. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's been good, Nick. Um, it's been a while since we've been back here. It was, um, I think, 10 years ago on the day that um, the Confessor won on and Frankel won, and wow. Kathy Gannon was on board, so that was the first winner. And then we had um, Son of Africa here a year later who won a nursery, so yeah, it's been a good course for us. It certainly has. And do you think that this this filly might yet be the best of the lot that you've had together? Absolutely, 100 percent. Yeah, there's more to come, clearly. And, you know, fingers crossed she stays sound. She's had you know, three quite quick races, so we'll see. Take us back to where the partnership began. Um, well, that, over to you, Al, probably. I think, yeah, 40 years ago, sort of growing up together. So 40? 40, yeah. You would never know at my... my <laughs> No, um, and then Andrew Stone, who's the third member, is a he's very an blood he's an Auburn's bloodstock, bloodstock, and so yeah, and we've always wanted to have a filly together, um, but you never sort of dream of this sort of, sort of stuff. So yeah, exciting. And I asked the trainer, I mean, is, is the idea that you know you wanted to nurture a broodmare prospect between you all? Totally. So, I mean, when you, I mean, she hadn't run until five weeks ago, so now suddenly making plans, like even mentioning Royal Ascot now, it seems a bit surreal. But anyway, <laughs> I can see you fancy Royal Ascot, don't you? Well, yeah, fingers crossed. Yeah, we'll see. But yes, over to Henry. All right. Supplementary entry is I don't know what for the Ribbles. Now. I don't know. We need to get lucky now, don't we? Okay. Yeah, we've got a lot of persuading, a lot of cash to raise. We've got, <laughs> there's well, a bit of work to be done. <laughs> you're the man who knows the price of everything. But the good news is you also know the value of everything, including, including this filly here. Gentlemen, congratulations. Thank you very much indeed. Thanks so much. Cheers. Subscribe to Racing TV's YouTube channel now to watch more great races like this.